I'm going out so I want to have a stronger colour on my lip and I think the shimmer of this top can take a depth of colour so I've got Nisha Sheer Shimmer and then still that same bit on my eyes. Oh my gosh! And then it's just taking it to that nighttime level. And Molly, I don't remember where the top's from. A weak mode. Then it is Selfridges we got this from, but I have actually cost per wear this has done me really well. It's and great. it's um it's got that eau de Neal and eau de Neal and lilac I do actually love together. They're not opposite sides of the colour wheel, but green and lilac can look pretty. Yeah. And these two colours together. And just putting on a clergy heel because it's a slightly A-line cropped jean. And I think a very skinny still the jeans will be too wide for that and too short so I like a wedge when I wear a wide crop yeah it reflects the lilac really nicely on the sequins it does actually. doesn't it yeah and it makes both of the colors feel at their best mm -hmm. so it's always important whereas if I've got a black top on with these jeans it would just be it's very oh, yeah. different take the life out of the jean perhaps it does I think mm. That's so fun for nighttime though, like literally going out in a pair of jeans. Yeah, I know, and a, and a sparkly top. Yeah. I mean, I would go anywhere there. I would go nearly anywhere in this because, as you said before, we spend half our life sitting waist up. Mm. So having the emphasis up here, I could be at something incredibly smart. And somebody wouldn't think I've got lilac jeans on that. <laughs> Just lilac trousers. Just my trousers. <laughs> Another classic! <laughs> Birkenstocks with some crop jeans or a skinny jean it could even be. And a t-shirt. And the t-shirt probably could be a little flat t-shirt. Mm -hmm. This Look, I actually love these Birkenstocks. I say I've just got them and they're called Aspen. They're from Birkenstock, but they're all white and I like oh, that. Oh, yeah. All white. If I was running out and I was thinking I just want to look smart, but I can't be bothered to make an effort. Really, really classic look. The ladies' blazer and the necklace and the zip that's yep. done up really <laughs> good and like that. Yeah. Now, it works. I think you've got the Birkenstock on and you can't do the blazer with a Birkenstock. That thing I would disagree with, mm -hmm. but I might do. A mad, grabby, hefty sandal. Cool. So even though they're black, it does go with the navy well, and the denim. Well, I think it's all right with it, actually, because I kind of want to keep the external colour to be darker and the white in yeah. the middle. And I think if I did my white ones, it might make my legs look shorter. Mm. Does the chunkiness of the shoe, does it need to be complemented by the flare of the jean? It could be. I'd be better with a more flared jean. Maybe it's better. Mm. Could we that see way. it without the jacket? Because I think that's really cool. Yeah, like I think that does work if you don't have the navy. Yeah. But just that yeah. sort of, you know, the mad shoe and, and these shoes are an acquired taste. I love them, but I just think for just doing something where a jean has more than something, mm -hmm. doing a cool shoe. Oh, they are cool jeans. Flare jeans, and these are Alice and Olivia. I'm gonna in fact put on how I used to wear the flare jean, which was with a longer blazer. I did this so often. And I look at it now and it's easy, a classic, and you can do it with some necklaces. But I feel I did it that way for so long. It feels another decade for me and I did it with long necklaces, didn't I? Yeah. So mm. I just want to think of how I can do it differently. But I think this is nice for some women. Who I think it's a strong business casual look. It's just because generally with my looks I always want something quirky. And this is entirely classic mm. yeah. to me. So I think that kind of feels like it's a little bit more sexy yeah and then i could do the matching jacket this is that old zara look but i could just put it over my shoulders i like how you've wrapped the top you've just tucked it in rather yeah, than this is a little it. trick i love which is because there's different ways to do a top all right you can do up the buttons and you can just tuck it in yeah and i think what i don't like about these jeans looks is when you have it just tucked straight down and it just feels boring yeah. there's something boring about that yeah. so otherwise you wear the shirt out and then there's no point doing this whole look but what I've kind of loved doing recently is I take one side and I tuck it in like that okay yeah cross it over and then I take the other side and I cross it and tuck it in and it just gives a nicer shape yeah to a blouse and you can do that with so many blouses that's so like clever that. Trini what's your opinion on low waist jeans I think that low waist jeans if you have really long legs and a short body are fab but if you have a long body and short legs they will make your body look even longer and your legs look even shorter crutch is fine here but I don't want then the rise to be here yeah and then I might just do that on the over it and not put the jacket on top mm -hmm. and just have that as a look yeah it's a lot okay. of pattern at the top very 70s mm. yeah it's more 70s yeah. and i think it's homaging the shape of the jeans that they originally were as opposed to trying to make the flare a 90s feel very 70s cool. and 90s don't sit well together two very different styles the jeans i wear the most and you're seeing them at the least flattering but these jeans are my really old wide legs are jeans which I got, now I'm so scared I'll lose and somebody went and found me a pair of Vestia Collective and it was a big sort of story. So the first thing I always think about with 
a jean like this is don't wear a heel with it, wear a stacked trainer because you want to have the feel that your legs are endlessly long and you only need a flat trainer underneath. And I think that is a better, cooler way to wear it. Yeah. All right, that's the first thing. The second thing is because they're so wide, I like the idea of width at the top. So I could do a little skinny t-shirt like this. So again, we're going to do a little tuck that way. Shape. My favorite new trick. <laughs> nice trick. And I think the thing about this is I love the shoulder pad. Now this is either Isabel Morant or Mango because I have a top from each and I cannot tell the difference. A lot of people ask me, can I wear a wide leg trouser mm. if I'm petite? And I think if you have volume, narrow waist and volume, you can do it whatever height you are. You just need to keep the proportions the same. Yeah. And yeah. you know, we spoke about the stripes at the start going I down. Know. It does make you look taller. It does, yeah, you know? it does, doesn't it? Yeah. And then with this, I might do a shorter jacket because I think a longer jacket, it wouldn't sit at the right place. So I might do one that length yeah. and then just have, you know, it's going to sit all right there. Nice little look. So that's like your new take on the jeans and the blazer moment. This is, in fact, where that went to and evolved, mm. Jemima, because I used to always do when I did TV shows that sort of elongated jean with the kick flare. And this, I feel, feels more ageless and less dated because when I went through the different decades of fashion, there was never the wide leg jean. No. So I feel it feels fresh. Yes. And I like the swainy lip looks. On it's your good lips. with it, huh? Yeah, it's lovely. It's about whether you can do volume with volume. I'm not, not going to start with a plain white t-shirt because you all know you might do a white jean with a plain white t-shirt. But this is a white jean that's slightly unusual. It's not the one I wanted to show you. It's neither a crop, it's a wide legged, you know, it's a, it's a weird length and I feel actually I need to kind of have these taken up, make them more croppy um, mm -hmm. and think what I do with them. But I just sometimes do like a bit of volume with volume, but if I did it, I would wear a really heavy shoe underneath and I might do something like this mad shoe just to get some prettiness in there and make it unusual. Oh, I love these. Um, and these are from Simone Rochat and I just think they add that femininity to the outfit. Yeah, like that jewellery element almost. Like that. I sort of love it actually. Yeah. I think it's very chic. I think it's very sort of looking like you've just thrown it on, but actually it's it's really a beautifully made shirt and I got it from Dove Street Market. It's not a cheap shirt. There's so much fabric in it, isn't it? It's so elegant. It's really elegant. It's got little pockets in it too. There are moments when I like to do volume with volume and I think the times I like to do it the most are actually with white yeah. or with black, but maybe not with bright colours. So that's one way of wearing it. Okay, can I just ask, would you keep the red lip? For sure, I mean, I love white and red. This is a really beautiful top that I got from Mr. C for Christmas one year, and I don't wear it often. It's a, it's from Loe, and it's just, the shape is divine, and I love the width, but I'm thinking, can I do this? And how I would do it, because it's a long top bit, and I don't know if I would have it that long, or if I would tuck it in. Is it black or navy? It's navy. Okay and the shoes are black, so. I sort of think it's nearly there, but you know what I need to do? Is these need to be taken up to long, here. Yeah. Yeah. They really, they just need a chopping. You have not done a bad job. <laughs> but it is better to see the ankle. Yeah. Why? If it hits the floor and you have a stack trainer underneath, you're going to elongate your legs. But if it's going to hit the shoe, there's no chance for there to be some elegance down there, which you'll get from your ankle. Okay. I don't know if this top is the right top with it, but I do think these are a better length. Okay, so Jemima, I think we're done. Come and sit down. That was a rash. It's given me a rash. rash. But you know what I feel that Sorry, was good to see is, you know, how often, and I'm speaking to everyone in the room and everyone down the camera, we can be a bit lazy in our dressing. We can just get up and throw on the jeans and the t-shirt and how little it takes to polish it up. And so that's the challenge that I've got to, for you today, this weekend, ladies, is to think on your usual uniform of what you wear, what have you got in your wardrobe to the metallic scarf or do you have a little metallic, or what are those little key pieces you should get? So whenever people say to me, can you do the essential basics? I'm like, no, it should be, what are the essential up the ante pieces? So I would say a metallic scarf, a fabulous long necklace, a great pair of sort of metallic shoes, a sequin jacket or metallic jacket, a top with adventure, you know, with a big sleeve or with a top with drama, you know, that's five and the six would be a really funky cool belt. All right, well, that was like a whirlwind, but we got through it yeah. and I hope yeah. you felt inspired. So next week, I mean, we got so much now that we're making at the moment mm. that I'm lost for where we're at. Yeah, we've got a lot to get out, but sunglasses might still be. I know, you keep harking oh, back no. to it. And do you notice I've sort of made my sunglass have a quick whiz round, but I have cleaned up the sunglass area, Molly. 
So we could go very there. inviting. And wow. it's inviting, isn't it? And like what I could do is about sunglasses and earrings, whether you wear them together and lip colours and things like that. We could do one on that. Yeah. I also am going away for a kind of a few very short breaks, and I know you love a little weekend suitcase packing. And I literally am it's going to be sarongs to dresses to beach. That's the whole theme, and I'll have half the suitcase empty for books. That's how lightweight I'm gonna be. So we can do that one. Yeah. Uh, anything else that you would like? So thank you, Molly. Thank you, Taya. Thank you to my mask. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody.